Hello, welcome back. In this video, we'll talk up all about test cases. So let's go to this project which we created. And if you want to see it properly, you can click this button and then click on test plans. So we'll see that that uh, we have a, a basic plan. So that's why test case feature is not available if you see here. But there is a way to activate it for 30 days. So for that, what we'll do is click on this Azure DevOps, click on organization settings and go to this billing. And there is an option to activate uh, some features for 30 days. So if you see basic plus test plan, I'll click on start free trial. Yes, let's do it. So see, it has activated without asking for any credit card and all those details. So our trial will expire in 30 days. This is just for learning purpose. You can create another account with another ID, right? If you are not able to do this in 30 days. And then let's go back to automation. And now if I click on test plans, okay, I still see that problem fixes. So you can come here in organization settings users and then click on change access level and let's select basic plus test plan and I'll click on save. Now let's see if I can access that. If I can access the test plan thing. So I'll go to automation project and click on test plans. Now you see some more options are coming, right? So we are here where we can create. So I'll create a new test plan. I'll call this master test plan. Right, so which is maybe at the project level or if I want for a particular iteration and all, as of now, I'll keep it at the highest level or I can create it at the iteration level as well. So now we have to add the test cases to this plan. So there are various ways of adding the test case. So I'll show you that from which all places uh, you can add test case, right? So one way is this new test case. And another way is this, you can upload test cases from here. And I'll tell you the difference between this, this. So this is where you can see the test steps under define. Under execute, you will see if somebody has executed and it will show you the status like pass, fail, blocked, active, not run. And then from this execute, you can create a chart which will show you that how many are pass, how many are fail. So when you want to edit the test cases, you come here. When you want to see the last run status or execute them or change them, like when you are doing it with on your own without using automation, you can come to this. And if there is a chart, you can use this chart to show things on dashboard. So this will come very handy, but let's uh, do create our first test case. So I'll click on this add new test case. You see there is a title coming. I can say that verify privacy policy. Right, I'm not writing the steps here. You can write the steps, verify, verify privacy policy in footers, right? And I can have an attachment and I can say that it should be same as per the attachment. I'm just writing at high level. Yeah, you can add here an attachment and details of the steps. If they are complex, if they are not, you can just maybe save some time by just uh, writing it at very, very high level. Right, because we have generally less time and sometimes even people don't write this. So yeah, I'm not going into that discussion. That So this is the one way by which you created, right? So this is called as test suit, right? At the top level is test plan, test suit, and then test suit have various test cases. And then you can click on this new like we did earlier, or this is one way of creating a test case by pressing this button. Right, I'll tell you other ways by which you can create test case. One is this one. Another one is add test cases using grid. So I have already prepared a sample for this, which I took it from some website, I think Guru 99. So I have modified it into that step. Like you have to give a title, step details and expected results. Let me copy this and I'll paste it here. So, and, or you can simply write here as well. For example, verify you are able to place order, right? Sorry for the typos and you can give the step action, place an order, right? Order ID is generated. You can directly write it over here. And as well as you can write it in a Excel file and then paste it. But you 
take care of this symbol right if you are now seeing there is no id right so if you go away from the screen it can maybe you will lose all these changes so you can click on this save button now you see ids are generated you can close grid now you see that there are test cases these two uh, test cases are the ones which i copied from excel and this is the one which i wrote it directly over there right and we'll see another ways now so we already saw two ways new test cases and this now you can click on upload right and you can select a csv so i have already created that csv and if i'll just select that csv you see this import button here click on that make it overwritten okay i'll say confirm and if you see there is a new test case number 5 that got added over here right it is having some details so these are the fields that you that should be present in the csv that is work item type which is a test case then title of the test case what are the steps and actions and the step expected you can prepare a csv and add the test cases like that okay even you can download the cases so here is a button export test cases so if i export and if i open for you so it will be having all the test cases right whatever we have created it has given right so you can create one then do the reverse way use this csv to upload right or you can save it as a csv and you can upload so this way you can even export the csv basically the test cases now and you can create further suits for example here there are various type of suits that can be created right so i'll show i'll tell you all of them they are very helpful this was just the basic way mostly you will go by this way so for example i want to create a static suit now i'll name it as regression suit right and i can create maybe further static suit i can call it sanity suit right now i can add various existing cases to it for example uh, out of the existing cases that i want right so i can search here it has already put test case category you run the category and pressing the control button you can select suppose these three test cases i think that that uh, they belong to this regression i can click add test cases right so they are already coming to the sanity now so we can add test cases to this way as well i'll tell you other way of adding so suppose if you want a requirement based suit so as we have seen in the other videos that a user story is a requirement right so what it will do is suppose and you can apply further queries for example iteration right i want to create only for a certain iteration maybe the user story in current iteration or which teams they belong to so what will happen as soon as you will create suit so you see that only one user story right and it was having a test case so it came so that's why i told you if you have seen the previous video that all user stories can have test cases attached by the tested by field so that way for each iteration you can create a folder over here for example i can create a requirement based suit right which we just created and similarly if i just want a a query based suit as well so if i can click here and query based suit i'll get a similar thing over there right and it will give me that what all test cases you want so for example i randomly select few test cases which i may want to test so i can create a suit right so it is a query based suit i can rename it and give it a uh, some sample name for example i can say that uh, they belong to some cr1560 right so so this way also we can have test cases so and we can assign configuration for example all these test cases you want to test via different configuration so there is a place where you can create configuration right so as of now it's windows 10 you can add windows 11 and uh, chrome firefox if those are the categories then you need not to repeat the test cases again right so now to summarize what all things uh, we learn in this video so now if you see that the new test case option is not coming here right it was coming in sanity so because these test cases are created under uh, user story or selected via query so you can just edit the query that's why you don't see the option over here 
if i go here here you see it right so these are the various kinds of suits that you can create right you can create a one where you can directly add cases over here right you can add an existing test case or you can add new test case so it's always best to link the test cases to the stories right so now to summarize what all we learned in this video so it is a big one so first of all uh, we create a test plan right in that test plan we can have static suit right we can have requirement based suit and we can have query based suit so this requirement will always pull from the user story whatever test cases that are attached by tested by so you will see them so you can just uh, only see those test cases which are coming from here in static suit you can add new cases right directly without they are not linked to any thing right you can directly add over here and for query query based you can give a query which can which can come from various requirements right so it can some test cases can come from requirement 1 some cases from requirement 2 but here in this way there is a clear linking right suppose you have 12 user stories in an iteration then all 12 whatever test cases so we saw this that that sometimes this can be useful and all these things are useful and we learned various way of creating test cases one option from here uh, one option from here and another one comes via grid right so hope you understood the various ways and can utilize it we have the test plan at the top it has test suit and it has test cases so these are the real entities these are virtual entities for grouping and this is the top entities right so i hope you understood how to manage the test cases here and you can even go to this uh, the documentation that microsoft has on their docs where you will see similar information and there is one very important thing that i would like to add before we end this video is like there are some type sometimes steps common steps for example log into some website or log into a specific url right and then you have some specific steps right some steps are really complex and all that you have to generate a bearer token or something like that right sorry for the typos so i'll quickly show you that when you select two steps and then you can add a shared step for example i can say log in to system and this you can use it anywhere now it became a step right so anywhere you can add this so there is this option called as insert shared steps so where you will see that various shared steps so in my previous projects where there was lot of ui involved so we had various common steps so we change at one place and it it comes at all the places right suppose if i want this step i click on it shared shared step right but this is not available with the upload functionality and that so you have to manually create the cases and to create the test cases faster you can use this option of create let me give some name so i can save it right and if you want to add test cases really fast you can use this option create copy of work item so hope it's helpful and you can just add priority and all right so these things are also available hope you find this video useful thank you for watching